All right, Camp Lejeune, it's an awesome base. It's one of the biggest in the world as far as military installations go. But as far as your PCS, there's a couple things that you need to know before making your move. So in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. What's up guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. This is Living in Jacksonville, North Carolina. I'm Avery, I'm with American Home Team here at eXp Realty. And as much as I love making these videos for you guys, I would love even more to help you with your real estate needs. So that phone number and email address popping up on the screen, I am the guy that responds to the calls, texts, and emails every single day when you guys reach out and I absolutely love it. So. Before we roll into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're notified every single Tuesday and Thursday that I put out a new video pertaining to all things Eastern North Carolina, Camp Lejeune, MCAS, New River, and surrounding areas. So with all of that said, today we're talking about some of the things that you need to know before moving to Camp Lejeune or PCSing to Camp Lejeune. Let's get into it. All right, and first things first, it goes without saying, the Marine Corps is a lifestyle, right? Or the military in general is a lifestyle. However, Camp Lejeune houses over 50,000 military personnel. That means that you will not be able to escape the lifestyle at all. So the shaving, the haircuts, all of that stuff. If you're acting out in town, people are gonna know about it, right? Jacksonville is a very small community. Camp Lejeune is housed in Jacksonville, North Carolina. So if you're off base and you're acting a fool, somebody's going to know about it. It's just the nature of the beast. But you can also flip that to a positive, the fact that you're always going to have someone to do something with. You're always going to have resources at your disposal, which I know when I was stationed on uh, New River, that was one of the things I really enjoyed was being able to find a resource whenever I needed it and find friends to go do things with. So that is sort of a negative to some people, but it's also a positive. And that is one thing that you definitely need to know prior to moving to Camp Lejeune because it's not like some other bases. You don't get to go out in town and be away from everybody. There's a lot of Marines here. There's a lot of Navy folks here. So you're just not gonna escape it. So you need to embrace it in its entirety. And I mean, honestly, just not act a fool, but it's a good sense of community and the base feels very small for how big it actually is. All right, so first things first, let's talk about how you're gonna get to Jacksonville, North Carolina, which is where Camp Lejeune is. So a lot of, Marines, sailors, soldiers, they use the resources that the military gives you. So some of the household good uh, moves, shipments, you can use that. Depending on how frequently you PCS or what your contracts look like or whatever the situation is, you can probably use that to move the majority of your household goods. If not, I know for a fact that Pods has some really, really, really good discounts for military personnel, for active duty that are PCSing to this area. There is a pods location nearby and they're not gonna charge you an arm and a leg because you have some of those military discounts. Those moves are expensive, so hopefully the military can help you out. If not, get reimbursed somehow, some way through the military. But that is option, as well as the budget truck rentals are an option. We see those coming and going all the time here in Jacksonville um, and into Camp Lejeune. But you're gonna wanna figure out where your shipment is gonna go. What they do is they will house it in a particular location. If it's a military, it'll be somewhere on base. If it's uh, pods or budget, they have their own facilities that they'll house all of your goods at until you have a move-in date at your new place, whether it's on base housing or off base housing, an apartment, a house, what or what have you. All right, so moving into it, first things first, where are you going to live? Jacksonville, North Carolina is an awesome place and property prices, uh, home prices 
range anywhere from about 200,000 to, you know, 450 to 500. There's even a $1.1 million house here for sale right now. If you want to buy that, hit me up. But the houses are very affordable. The taxes are very cheap. If you're inside of the Jacksonville city limits, you're looking at like a little over 1% for property taxes. If you're out in Richlands or Huber or some of the surrounding areas in Onslow County, uh, you're under 1% for your property taxes, which makes it extremely affordable. But you gotta figure out if you're gonna rent or if you're gonna buy. If you're gonna buy, the BAH for an E1 with dependents is a little over $1,100 a month. If you're all the way down to an 07 with dependents, you're looking at like $2,300 a month for BAH. Now, doesn't it sound like a lot, but when you consider the cost of housing, it's definitely gonna cover at least your mortgage, uh, the taxes um, being rolled into it, right? Because they're so cheap, you know, all of it's gonna be covered with that BAH for the most part, as long as you don't overspend, right? And it's totally doable to get it inside of that BAH budget. But with that said, the rental prices, you can be anywhere from $850 for like a one bedroom apartment or two bedroom apartment, all the way up to about $2,700 if you're on the coast, right? On the water side, uh, and you're looking at like a higher end home or a uh, high-end townhouse or high-end apartment that's right there on the water. So it's up to you to decide where you wanna be on that budget and knowing what your BAH is gonna be for your rank uh, or your rate rather, what that's gonna be, you need to decide whether or not you wanna buy or rent. My suggestion is always that you should buy and yes, I'm a little biased because I am a real estate agent. However, I also look at the investment opportunity and the benefits of owning a home versus renting. When you're renting, you're not really taking your future into consideration. I do understand the premise of renting, especially in the military because you're moving around so frequently and all of that stuff. However, if you can buy when you move here to Jacksonville, in three years or four years before your contract expires or uh, you PCS somewhere else, you could gain 15, 20, 30, $40,000 in equity in that time, depending on what the market does, of course. But you could sell that house uh, at the end of your contract or before you PCS and make a good chunk of change to put in your pocket to go to Oki or to go to Cherry Point or wherever you're gonna be going. Whereas if you're renting, you have no control over that. You're just spending the money every single month and you have no benefit when you move other than the flexibility of moving. You just get out of that lease and you're good to go. You don't have to put the house on the market uh, or you know any of the things that come with selling a home. The other aspect that I wanted to bring up is that a lot of folks here, when they PCS, they decide that they're gonna rent their home. They're gonna rent it to another military member. They're gonna rent it to just someone locally in the area. There's a lot of people that are employed by like Oslo Memorial or honestly just want to live near the beach. We have a whole influx of people moving here just to be more coastal, right? And the cost of living and all of the things that are bringing people here. A lot of folks in the military before they PCS rent to people like that. And so you have the opportunity to make a little bit of money, get your mortgage paid for and make a little bit of money so that if you were ever PCS back to Camp Lejeune or NCS New River, you could move back into that home and it's nearly paid off at that point, right? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years down the road, you could almost have a paid for house uh, if you played your cards right. But it's definitely a good investment opportunity. It's always gonna be rented. Um, rentals here are pretty scarce. And the budget for the rentals, like I said before, anywhere from 850 to you know $2,800, depending on the house, how big it is, uh, where it's located, so on and so forth. But when you're looking at the possibility of buying, that's something that you should be considering is, is hey, when I PCS again, what am I gonna do with that house? The investment op uh, opportunity is great, 
but if you decided to sell, you could also make a good chunk of change to put in your pocket for your next place. Now, with all that said, on-base housing is absolutely a thing. I do have a client right now that is moving from Kaneohe Bay and he chose to put his family on, on base housing temporarily to figure out the lay of the land and uh, save up some money and that kind of thing before he decides to buy a home. He does see himself at Lejeune for the foreseeable future. So he knows that he has some time uh, to save up that money, buy a house, so on and so forth. However, the one thing I will say about that is, and you might already know this because you're in the Marine Corps or the Navy, but if you're living on base, you are not gonna be getting that BAH. That BAH is given in lieu of that house, right? So they're giving you a house on base. You're not gonna be making that extra $1,300 a month or 17 or 20, uh, 2200, whatever it is. You're not gonna be making that money. So you'll get your basic pay and any kind of special pay that you get for your job. With that said, you're just not gonna have that extra money to save. I know when I was in the Marine Corps and I was renting out in town, I was not very smart at this time. I wasn't a realtor at this time, so I didn't really understand it. I didn't have any of the guidance, certainly didn't have this video. Um, but I rented, I rented a townhouse and it was great for the most part. My rent was $700 and yes, in 2015 timeframe, 14, 15, that's what my rent was 700 bucks for a two bed, two and a half bath townhouse. And my BAH was just under 1300 bucks. So the difference between that 1300 and 700, I was able to save and put in a bank account in case I wanted to go and buy a house or buy a new car or buy some guns or do whatever I wanted to do, right? The point is, is I was able to save that money. Whereas if I was living on base with my family, I wouldn't have had that BAH to save, right? I wouldn't have had that opportunity to get a place cheaper than my BAH to save some money over time. So something to think about on base housing is a great opportunity. Uh, if you, you know, if that's your cup of tea, if you don't mind living on base, do it, right? However, uh, that is one drawback to living on base, aside from not being able to get away from the lifestyle a little bit. Now, there are a number of access points along Camp Lejeune and MCAS New River. Um, not gonna name all of them, there's a total of like nine or 10, uh, but the main gates are like the Piney Green Gate on Camp Lejeune, Tarawa Terrace 1 and 2, and then uh, MCS New River, you have the main gate. Uh, and then I think there's one other one that when I was there, it was always closed. Uh, so it really didn't uh, do anything for me personally. But Camp Lejeune has the main gate, Tarawa Terrace, and then it has the Sneeds Ferry Gate, right? The Stone Bay Gate, uh, which is a big area for people to live because of its proximity to the gate, but also being in a residential area off base. Sneets Ferry is a wonderful place if you wanna be coastal and near the beach, but also have that on base access uh, within a couple minute drive. So that back gate on Camp Lejeune is a hot spot. A lot of people flock to that area. Um, to try and get away from the military a little bit, right? Like to get away from work, but also have the proximity to work that you would want, especially when the traffic sucks. Now with that said, if you need help figuring out where your unit is gonna be in proximity to some of these gates, and you wanna be within, yeah, I don't know, a 10 minute drive of a gate uh, close to your unit or whatever the case is, let me know. I have a map, I can pull up uh, where that unit is located, as long as it hasn't changed in the last like two months, I can pull up where that unit's located and give you a good idea of how far uh, certain locations are from your unit. Uh, and maybe Sneets Ferry is way too far for you from your unit and maybe Hubert's gonna be a little bit closer or just living in uh, like the Piney Green area is gonna be closer like Jacksonville Bay or, or whatever, right? I can help you navigate that in proximity to work. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at the number and email provided. I'm more than happy to help you with a map 
and show you where your unit's gonna be in relation to where you're gonna live. Now, we went over housing, BAH, cost of living, right? It's 14% lower than the national average. So those of you that are coming from San Diego, coming from Kaneohe Bay, even Oki, you're gonna be saving money coming here to Camp Lejeune just on your day-to-day -day expenses. It's just the way it is, Jacksonville, North Carolina is a lot cheaper than most other places. So talking about all of that, now I wanna shift focus into what is there to do around Camp Lejeune. Well, around Camp Lejeune, so on base, uh, you have a bowling alley, you have obviously grocery stores, you have a golf course, um, You there is uh, some MCCS uh, benefits on base obviously as well. And then in Jacksonville, you have bars, you have um, some other clubs, I wanna say. There's a lot of uh, clubs and you guys know what I'm talking about if you're in the military. There's a lot of those, but as far as like normal nightclubs, you're not gonna get it. Uh, there's really no to low uh, nightlife in the area. There are cigar lounges, there are bars obviously, but when if you're looking for dance clubs, if you're looking for things like that where you can really go out and you know spend the weekend or the night and have fun, Jacksonville's not the place. You're gonna have to go out to maybe like Swansboro, New Bern area, or go the other way out to Wilmington to some of the bigger city stuff and have the time that you're looking for out there. But once again, there are shopping plazas, there's the mall, uh, you have bars, you have restaurants. All of that is here in Jacksonville as well as other golf courses and things like that. But the big draw to this area, it not just for service members, but just for everyday people is the beaches. Um, so on one side of Camp Lejeune, you do have uh, Emerald Isle. On the other side, you have North Topsail Beach. Um, Topsail Beach is one of my favorite areas. Emerald Isle is one of my favorite areas as well, but I just live a little further away from Emerald Isle than I do North Topsail. North Topsail is uh, 10 minutes. Surf City is like five minutes from me. Um, and then, you know, you have the whole island of uh, Topsail Island that you could go on and enjoy uh, a couple of brews and whatnot on the beach. There's also a number of water activities that you can participate in in the area, whether it's the New River or in the Atlantic or on uh, the Intercoastal. You can take the boat out, you can take the kayaks out if you're into fishing, you can go fishing. Um, but there's also storage facilities for like your boats, uh, for any extra cars, motorcycles, kayaks, things like that on base. You do have to pay for them, but you can store some of your recreational vehicles uh, on base if you want to. Um, there's also people that store them right in the parking lots uh, of like the barracks or wherever. Most of the time that's a no-no. Uh, so do it the right way so you don't get in trouble. But there's a lot to do in the area. A lot of people like to escape the work life and go out to the beach on the weekends, have a couple beers and chill, right? The tattoo parlors in this area are plentiful, just like every military um, base. Tattoo parlors, strip clubs, those kind of things flock to the area. So you'll never have a hard time. If you wanna get tatted, you, you won't have a hard time finding a, a good parlor, uh, tattoo shop to go and get your tattoos. But I would recommend going into like Wilmington to get your tattoos, just because it's a little bit of a cleaner, environment, not nearly as busy with Marines, um, and you can probably uh, book a little bit sooner uh, at some of the bigger shops like in Wilmington versus some of the hole in the walls uh, in Jacksonville. They're all good shops, but if you want something a little bit cleaner, a little more reputable, uh, something not nearly as busy, head out toward Wilmington and you can find something a little better out there or I can refer you to a artist. And as you probably assumed by now, you will need a car in Camp Lejeune. Camp Lejeune is such a big base that it could take you, you know, a five minute car ride from the barracks to work. If you're living off base, it's gonna take you even longer. Traffic sucks in Jacksonville. Traffic sucks in Wilmington, all the way to Jacksonville. Uh, it's just 
it's awful. It's really, really busy and it could take you 20 minutes to get onto base. I'm not even talking about your commute. I'm talking about the traffic from the, you know, outside of base into base, going through the gate. It could take you a long time to get into base. So something you, you're gonna have to plan for, but definitely gonna want a vehicle, whether it's a beater or, uh, you know, a, a bike or a motorcycle or whatever it is, something nicer. If you want something nicer, you will need a vehicle because walking is number one it's just too far but the traffic here is terrible so uh you're just gonna need a form of transportation and not a lot of ubers and lifts can get onto base because they don't have the permissions so that's something you're gonna want to consider as well is getting that vehicle and relying less on public transit so those of you coming from oki or uh, hawaii you are gonna need to put that into your budget of buying a vehicle because Uber and Lyft are only gonna go so far. All right, and last but not least are the airports. Proximity to uh, Albert J. Ellis is gonna be your closest airport. However, it is very small. So if your hometown, if you're trying to take leave and your hometown's in California, uh, you're gonna have to have a connecting flight. You're not gonna be able to go, you know, a direct flight from Jacksonville. You can take a direct flight, from Wilmington, it's a little bigger of an airport, a little bit uh, more commercial services in Wilmington, but that is a hour or so drive from Jacksonville, from Camp Lejeune to Wilmington. So something you're gonna wanna consider there, uh, how you plan on getting to and from home when you take leave or visit family or whatever you wanna do is the airports. Albert J. Ellis is a very small airport you can get in and out in 10 minutes. It's that small and I love it for that reason. But I take a short flight from Albert J. Ellis up to New York and you can get direct flights from that distance, but going out to Cali or maybe even Texas, you're just not gonna be able to do it. So Wilmington's gonna be your best bet. There is another airport, I believe in the New Bern area. So you can check out that airport. I'm not as familiar with that airport. Uh, but that is your other option and once again, that's about 45 minutes away. All right, and there you have it. That is some of the things that you should know prior to PCSing to Camp Lejeune. If you guys found any value in this video whatsoever, be sure to click that like button, drop me a comment if you want. Uh, I really, really appreciate the feedback that you guys give me on my channel and I certainly appreciate you guys reaching out to the phone number and email address above. I am the guy that responds to all those texts, phone calls, and emails, and I love chatting with you guys, especially those of you in the military that are looking to make a move here to Camp Lejeune, whether you're volunteering for uh, this duty station or you're being voluntold, I love chatting with you guys and helping you guys find a home here in the Jacksonville area, Camp Lejeune, MCS, New River, I just absolutely love it. So guys, until the next video, hope you have a good one. See ya.